Hi guys, I am in my pyjamas, please excuse that, but it's kind of understandable. So I wanted to talk to you today about um, my breast cancer surgery, which was yesterday. And I want to do this video so close after the fact so I can explain what I'm going through. Um, I promise not to cry. Um, um, and how I feel. Um, and what the process was with the whole breast cancer surgery and all that. Um, so basically I went into the hospital for six o'clock in the morning um, I went through and it is still um, pandemic protocol and all that so nobody could actually come with me um, so I went on my own I just got my husband to drop me off um, and I went for six o'clock in the morning my surgery was actually at um, 7 30 um, so basically um, I registered got into day surgery then they basically take you to the bed and um they give you the unite gown and then some little booties to put over your feet basically you lay in the in that bed for a few minutes and the, the nurse comes over and she has a chat with you and she asks you whether you've got like any allergies and stuff like that um and like questions like what's your name and blah 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 um I they gave me my my tag at the door with my name on it and everything and um i put all that the gown on and that i actually put it on the wrong way <laughs> um and then um you kind of lay in bed and then they give you um they hook you up to like a monitor um to check your regular heart your base level of your heart um i don't even know how to say it anyway um and basically um I was led there waiting um, and then in the end it comes to like 7.30 and I was waiting for my surgeon and my anaesthetist to come um, so basically the surgery was around the corner and she was there like oh well you know we're kind of waiting for your surgeon right now and do you want to like walk around into the the actual operating room I was like because I was kind of thinking that we we're going to put me to sleep and then take me to the sur into the surgery room but no I, I actually walked in and as I was walking around I bumped into my surgeon so um, we had a little chat as we walked around and then I went into the operating room it was a little bit scary there's like a table in the middle of the room and obviously things are beeping and you I laid down in the um in the table and um and then basically um they're all, they're all sorting stuff out, like scrubbing up and sorting all the tools out and stuff. And then I think it was about 7.40 when he actually put my IV into my hand um, and they were getting ready like to put me to sleep and everything. And um, basically my surgeon was telling me that they were going to do an incision around my nipple and then they're going to do like another bit that comes like off. So he basically called it a tennis racket incision and then also was going to like do the incision under my arm to take sorry um I don't even know why I'm crying to take the um the lymph nodes out sorry to remove some lymph nodes. You have about 27 lymph nodes under your arm. Um, Cause basically that's the next place that cancer can spread. It um, is through your lymph nodes because you actually have blood vessels and it, they go from your breasts into your lymph nodes. Whew. So there was an incision done onto my arm as well. So um, yeah, they um, put me to sleep. I didn't even realise that they were putting me to sleep at the time because I was like just looking up at the lights and they were going like a little bit fuzzy like like you were drunk kind of thing and then I was looking at these lights and thinking how amazing them lights would be for a YouTube video <laughs> so um yeah basically they put me to sleep and then and then I, I woke up and then I was like, I panicked and I literally just shouted out like, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm supposed to be awake. <laughs> Probably scared, scared them. <laughs> so um, they were basically saying, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, we're just like bringing you around and everything. So um, 
yeah, so then after that, they um, took me back to a recovery room. So they were obviously getting my heart rate back to a regular um, like rhythm, like a baseline, like from what they what they recorded before. So um, I got out of recovery within about five minutes and then he wheeled me back to the actual day bed place. So, and then I was just like thinking, just stay calm, stay calm, da, 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 so I could like get out of hospital. I just wanted to get out of hospital really quick, eh? So anyway, they, um, they waited for about 10 or 15 minutes and then she came up and she um, asked me to walk around. So they got you up and they got you walking down the corridor um, and then I felt really fine then and then um, she told me to get dressed and then she would call my husband and my husband and I was I was kind of out of there after about 30 minutes after I came round basically I did did really well so um I came back home yesterday and do you know I, I felt really bouncy and and stuff and I was doing my English paper piece and then I forgot to actually I'm actually downstairs in the basement I forgot to bring the pieces down maybe I'll, I'll pause this video before the end of it and I'll show you what I've got up to with that because my English paper piece and I want to um as I'm going through my treatment right now I want to do all my English paper pieces in and when my treatment is over then I'm going to stop basically abruptly and like just do a cream colour to finish it all off um it's looking really cute actually I've done it in Tilda fabrics and that stopped me from crying <laughs> so anyway I came back home and to be honest like I was like so hungry and so thirsty and um so with regards to the pain um there's there's no pain after my um breast cancer removal and i'm going to say removal because they took it out and as far as i'm concerned it's gone it's gone um so um it feels like it doesn't hurt put it that way i did get some medication and i have been taking it because i just don't want to feel any pain um and i'm going to do that like from yesterday and i'm going to do it today and then tomorrow i'm going to see if i can just have nothing and like grin and bear through it um and so it feels like like a paper cut I can like a paper cut and mosquito bite it's just it's very itchy and obviously I'm not allowed to touch it so I'm trying not to touch it um I've looked online and it said that I could have an antihistamine but I'm waiting I phoned my surgeon's office my receptionist and to see if I can have an antihistamine to see if that'll calm the itching down because last night in bed it was incredibly itchy and I found with doing my English paper piece in it kind of takes my mind off it so yeah so what's next for this whole breast cancer saga saga so um I have to wait two weeks and then I'm going back to see my surgeon again and he's gonna look at how it looks and stuff because at the moment one does look slightly bigger than the other but I'm hoping because it's like swollen up because when he took the breast cancer away he actually moved some of the breast tissue to kind of like make my breast still look okay and where he's done the incision is actually quite quite good because you can't see it with your cleavage kind of thing it's hidden so I'm very thankful <clears throat> so there's no pain which is good um just very emotional so i think i'm just gonna wrap it up because i just i do want to be positive it's i need to be positive but it's very it's very emotional so um I have some tremendous support. Thank you so much, guys, for um, supporting me because I uploaded a video yesterday and 
them comments really did help and made me feel loved and supported so thank you so much for that um but yeah it's all positive from here on out like it's gone it's gone so let's leave it on a positive note thank you so much for watching i know this is a sewing and quilting channel but this is life and i want to document this also for other people going through this or if you know somebody who's going through like breast cancer then you could watch my video and like know what somebody is actually going through so that's why i wanted to do these videos so thank you very much for your support and my next video is going to be a happy sewing one <laughs> bye